In your PCSX2, go to Settings, Controllers. If you have a really old controller that doesn't support SDL or X input, you can enable the input. If you only use X input controllers, you can use X input only. SDL usually supports most of the controllers. Create a new profile called Multitab or wherever you want. Do you want to copy all bindings from the currently selected profile? You can choose yes. This will copy the controller key bindings from the profile that is currently being used. In this case, it's the chat profile. So it will copy the bindings from the chat profile to this one that we are creating. Now in the controller multi-tap, you can choose any port you want. Some games only work with the multi-tap on port 1 and other games only on port 2. Also, if you're using the multi-tap on port 1, some games detect port 1B as controller 2. Other games detect port 2 as controller 2. You might want to play with that. It's kind of a mess sometimes. If you're playing a game that supports more than 4 players, you can choose both. Go ahead and configure the controllers. Controller 1 and 2 were copied from the shared profile. Close the controller settings and in your PCSX2 game list, choose any game that supports the multi-tap. Press the right mouse button on top of it. Go to properties and in the input profile, choose the multi-tap. Start the game and have fun.